Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 31 BHDS. It's a new floor plan. This is the first one of these we've gotten in. I'm really excited to show you all the features and the floor plan on this particular unit. Uh, there's a lot of features to go over on the outside of this one, so I do want to start on the outside. Then we'll head on in and see the beautiful interior. But let's talk about this right here, power tongue jack right up front. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle with just a flip of a button. And it's something you would expect on a high-end travel trailer like the uh, Mini here behind me. Right here is a light right up front, so if you need that extra light at night, you can just flip on a switch and have some extra visibility. Behind that, you have two 30-pound propane tanks with a cover. Again, higher-end unit, they give you the bigger tanks. They expect you to uh, you know, stay in this for an extended period of time, make sure you have plenty of heat, and having the two 30-pound tanks instead of the 20 will provide that. Right behind that, you have rails for your battery. Now, when you buy an RV from us, we do provide a battery for you as well as a sewer hose and fill your propane tanks. However, there is enough space there for a second battery. So if you plan on doing a lot of boondocking, you want a second battery installed, you just have to let us know and we can make that happen for you. Coming right up the front is black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Then right above that, you have this beautiful three-quarter front cap here. Has a nice aerodynamic design to it, looks really aggressive. You'll see you have LED lights throughout there as well, so that way it gives a really uh, nice aesthetic at night as well. Coming around to the side here, this is one of my favorite things about the Mini Plus, and that is the pass-through storage. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the only travel trailer that is currently utilizing drop frame construction. You see it on a lot of the high-end fifth wheels, but you don't see it on a travel trailer. If you take a look underneath here, you'll see what I mean. So you have the frame running up, then they actually drop this down and have the second part of the frame on the front right here. And look what that does for your pass-through. You get a massive pass-through here in a travel trailer, bigger than anything that's out there currently. So not only is this wide, but you have a ton of height in here as well. So you can fit uh, an amazing amount of items in here. You'll also see you have an LED light strip hanging out up there. So, you know, that way if you need to get in here, you don't just have a singular light. So if you have to really dig in there, crawl in there a little bit, you have uh, light throughout the entire thing at night. So definitely a great pass-through system. Also, you have a magnetic uh, latch there on the door, so it just holds itself up. Right underneath, a couple other things I wanna talk about here. One, you have a propane quick connect up front. So if you are one that likes to grill, you can set your grill up right here, hook it up to that quick connect. That way it's feeding off your two 30 pound bottles instead of having to buy these small green ones. You'll also see right over here, this utilizes a huck bolt frame. Uh, huck bolt construction has a couple of advantages over a welded frame. The first one being the number one place that your frame starts to rust out at is right at those weld seams. So by eliminating that weld seam, there's a lower chance that the rust will start at that location. Also, if you ever do get any kind of accident and there's damage to the RV, it's a lot easier to replace the huck bolt uh, frame and what that translates to is less dollars out of your pocket. Another thing that's really cool is this right here. This unit does have power stabilizer jacks. Now there's a lot of uh, RVs, a lot of travel trailers that have power stabilizer jacks, but the reason that this one is a little more unique is that you have a control for each individual jack. Most of the time you have one control for the two front ones, one control for the two back ones. Uh, this gives you a lot more control by being able to, again, control each stabilizer individually. The 31 BHDS has two entrances and exits into the RV, your main one being right here. Your secondary one in the back there leads into the bathroom. Both of them have three fold-out aluminum steps, uh, which are great because the aluminum won't rust on you. Has rubber grip strips on here as well for extra traction, especially if it rains or really early in the morning if there's still dew on the steps. And the main entrance here also comes with a foldable easy grab handle, so you have excellent control from the first step all the way into the coach, and then same thing as you are leaving. If you take a look up at the very top, you see the large power awning on here. Touch a button to roll that out, same thing to roll up right back in, and it does have an adjustable pitch on there as well, that way you can have your rainwater run off. Underneath that awning is an LED light strip that is sewn into the material itself. 
The reason I like that is because uh, a couple reasons. One, it doesn't matter if you have your awning extended three inches or fully extended, the light will be in the same place shining right down on your campsite. Uh, so that's, that's really cool because you know, if it's in the barrel, you have to have your awning all the way extended. The other thing I like about it is the angle. It's naturally pointed down. Rather than having a strip on the side where it's uh, shooting out, I like having the light actually right down on the campsite itself. Let's talk, uh, take a quick minute and talk about the construction of the sidewall here. Uh, Winnebago Towables have some of the best sidewalls in the travel trailer industry. This is a very similar process to how they make a bolt haul. You see this on really high-end motorhomes, your really high-end fifth wheels use something similar. And what it is, they use a T60 fiberglass instead of a Lamalux product. Uh, your T60 fiberglass comes in a solid sheet rather than on a roll. So right out of the gate, right from the get-go, you have a much sturdier product. Then on top of that, they put the True Pour Gel Coat exterior on here, which is what gives it this beautiful shine and luster. You know, you can see a reflection in here. You don't see a bunch of fibers coming through. Absolutely beautiful sidewall that you can buff and polish, and it will keep that for the life of the RV. Right back here, you have a couple hookups. You notice this is to fill your water tank. So if you wanna, you know, again, go and boondocking, you want an extra battery, you wanna be able to fill up your water, that is where you do it. Right next to that is a black tank flush. Uh, what this does is instead of having to take your hose and stick it down your toilet when you're done camping to wash out your black tank, just screw that hose right in here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Then next to that, we have TV connections. If you want an outside TV, they have installed a backer right here. They put a sticker to show you where it's at so you know exactly where to put your TV mount. And then you have your cable outlet as well as an electrical outlet here too. Now bear in mind, even if you don't want an outside TV, you can obviously plug anything into that electrical outlet uh, right outside here. The wheels are aluminum alloy, so that way, they, again, they're not going to rust out on you. They'll stay looking nice. They help resist corrosion, and you have nitrogen-filled tires as well. Uh, nitrogen doesn't leak out of the tires as fast, so hopefully you will have or maintain that tire pressure for a longer period of time. That's an important thing. You always want to make sure you're checking your tire pressures before every trip. Also, right on the sidewall there, you'll see two outside speakers underneath the awning. Uh, that's great too. You know, if you're not one that likes to watch TV, but you want to listen to some music, you can certainly sit out here and do that. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So again, you want to sit out here underneath your awning, control your music, you can do that with a smartphone, tablet, or any other Bluetooth capable device. Second entrance right here, as I mentioned, aluminum steps leading right up into it. That goes into your bathroom. In a bunk model, that's really nice. You know, the kids, especially if they're younger, tend to have to use the bathroom a lot. They can run in and out. They're not traipsing dirt through the entire RV. And then same thing if you have any guests or yourself, you can uh, go right in there. Now, one of the complaints I have a lot of times with a, uh, a bathroom door is that there's a window on it, you know? The reason most manufacturers do that is to let light into the bathroom, but there's a lot of light in there. You know, they have a skylight, they have LED lights for nighttime, and so to give you that additional privacy, you can see it is a solid door. Coming right to the back, right here is your outside kitchen. Again, same magnetic system to hold the door up there, and you can take a look at the nice kitchen. It's not too much, you know, it's not taking up an entire sidewall here, which means you have more room inside but it definitely serves its purpose very well. You'll see you have a couple electrical outlets up here, well, your standard outlet and then a dual USB port. So if you need to plug in like an electric skillet or something here, you can do that. Uh, you know, charge your cell phones, whatever you need to do. LED light there as well. As far as cooking, you do have your pull-out two-burner cooktop here. Now, as I mentioned, you did have that propane quick connect up front, but you do have another one right back here. That way your cooktop has something to plug into, and again, that is directly underneath. The sink itself is actually plumbed. Uh, most manufacturers, if they have a drain here, there's a hose that leads out onto the ground, which is fine. You know, that will allow the sink to slide out, but I would rather have it in place, just have it plumbed right into the gray tank. Just makes things a little bit easier on you. Right next to that is the outside fridge. You know, this for me is probably uh, one of the most crucial parts here. This gives you a spot to put your condiments for hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever you may be cooking up. And obviously you can have some beverages in there as well. So again, you're not running in and out of the RV constantly. As I had mentioned up front, same thing right back here, you will see you have individual uh, stabilizer controls. 
On the back here, granted it's a little tight next to this other Winnebago here, but I just want to show you some of the things that are back here. The water heater, this is a pretty big deal. This is a 10 gallon water heater you have here. Most travel trailers are a six gallon, but you know this is a high quality uh, RV and as I mentioned, they expect you to spend some time in here. So they did upgrade it to the 10 gallon. Spare tire is mounted on the bumper. You notice this also has a cover on here so it stays in uh, good condition. Hopefully you never have to use it. But in the event that you do, you can sleep well at night. You can have that peace of mind knowing it is right back here. Over to the side there, you see the rear mounted ladder. That will allow you to climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. Uh, as with any RV, I do recommend getting up there at least once or twice a year, just to take a look, make sure everything is uh, you know, looking the way it should. You don't have any cracked seals or anything like that. If you don't want to get up on the roof, you know, or you're not able to, that's not a problem. You can always bring it here by American RV. We'll gladly get up there for you and examine it for free. On the off-door side of the Mini Plus, they have a convenient center like you often see again on your higher-end fifth wheels. If you take a quick look here, you see you have an electrical outlet there, your inlet for your satellite and your cable, a battery disconnect, which again is very easy to get to so you don't have to mess with your batteries. You'll also see you have your city water inlet. Uh, on the other side, we have the gravity fill. However, if you do want to fill your tanks from a hose, you can just go ahead and flip this from city to tank, and then you can fill up your fresh tank right there. You'll also notice a spray port in case you need uh, outside water access. The other thing I like that they've done, you'll see right here, they have this, uh, you know, so that way you can put your water lines and stuff down in here and it acts as a drain because as we all know, even when you hook this up as tight as you can, it still tends to leak a little. That way it's not flooding out your pass through. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 31 BHDS. This particular model is in the graphite interior. Let's start off on the ceiling here. One of the things that the Mini Plus has is this beautiful barreled or cathedral style ceiling where it's nice and open so you don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. Also on the ceiling here you'll see a row of LED lights, keep it nice and bright, and those don't put out near the heat nor do they use near the power consumption that your standard incandescent bulbs do. You'll also notice you have ducted AC throughout the camper, uh, low pro king jack here for your TV antenna, and then you have a couple speakers here in the ceiling as well. Nice big skylight above the kitchen there lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Also in the kitchen you can see the beautiful solid surface countertops and I love the fact that they made this entire countertop here prep space because normally if they didn't it'd be kind of a small countertop especially given the size of the camper but you have dual sink top covers here that are also solid surface and a recessed cooktop with a glass cover over that so you're able to utilize all of this. When we take the sink top cover off, that will reveal your double undermount stainless steel bowl. You'll see it's a double equal bowl there, but they're nice deep bowls. So if you have larger, uh, you know, residential pots and pans, you can still fit them down in here. And it's nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes with the high rise pull out faucet. Right behind the sink and faucet there, you see the window again to let some natural light in during the day and give you a view of your campsite. Then at night, you have an LED light right up top. Uh, if we move over to the cooktop, again, this is nice and easy to use. You just fold this back like so. This kind of gives you a backsplash there too, having that, uh, the glass. You know, they have one built in here, but honestly, it's a little more decorative than it is, um, you know, functional. So I like having the glass there. Glass is nice and easy to wipe off. But three burner cooktop, and then underneath you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. If we take a look at the storage over here, you have a bunch of different storage options. Drop that back down, there we go. You have an electrical outlet, uh, so if you need to plug anything in, that is where you do it. Perfect for a coffee maker, toaster, whatever else. A little bit of storage there under the sink, it's enough for your chemicals. You know, gotta have your cleaning supplies somewhere. And then a large bank of four full extension drawers here. So you have plenty of space for your silverware and your larger utensils like your spoons, uh, you know, serving spoons, spatulas, things like that. If we take a look up at the top, uh, right over here is your control panel. I guess I do want to point that out for you. Uh, it is a little bit higher, so if you have little kids, they're not going to be in here, you know, moving your slides, messing with your water heater and stuff. Uh, speaking of your water heater, I showed you outside that it was 10 gallon. The other thing that's cool though, is this one does run off both electric and LP, and you can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery. Also, because it's an Atwood water heater, it doesn't use an anode rod, so you don't have to worry about constantly replacing that, which is nice. 
Right up top, you'll see additional storage here, shelf built in there. Uh, kind of a minor thing, but another thing I like that Winnebago does is they put your sticker right here with all your stats. So if you need to know your you know, unloaded vehicle weight, GVWR, everything is right there for you. Right over next to that is the microwave. Uh, normally we have a weight sticker on here. The dry weight of this camper is 8,000 pounds. Directly underneath that, you have your hood here with a light and a fan. And then over to the side, we move into the fridge freezer combo. You'll see this is nice and big. You have a cutout there for some taller items, a couple of drawers down below. Uh, Dometic brand, this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. And then next to that, one of my favorite things in a uh, RV kitchen is the pantry. Huge pantry in here. You have a ton of space for food which is great because you have a big bunkhouse. You'll probably be taking a lot of people camping in this, so you have to have a lot of space for food. Right over here is your thermostat. This will control both your ducted AC as well as the furnace. Bathroom right over here. Um, the thing I love about Winnebago, or again, there's a lot of things, but one of them are the interior doors, and I say this in all the travel trailers. The reason is they're just built very well. They're actually framed out in wood instead of plastic. They're true, they're square. When you open it, it closes every time. It doesn't wiggle a whole bunch in there. It doesn't pop back open. And again, I, I know it seems minor, but when you're out there RV shopping, compare the Winnebago doors to the rest and you'll see what I mean. But in the bathroom itself, right down in the corner here, you have a foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. There is that second entrance, so as I had mentioned earlier, you can just come in, uh, use, the ba use the bathroom here and head right back out. And then up top, you see you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape and dry it out here in the bathroom. A couple LED lights to make it nice and bright, mirrored medicine cabinet there as well with storage. And then underneath, you have your hand towel ring, uh, stainless steel bowl, which is really nice. Over to the side is your electrical outlet, so you can plug in hair dryer, curling iron, and you have additional storage underneath. Then over to the side, we have the shower. It has a tri-slide glass door on there. You'll notice the hand wand, good shelving, and then a big skylight right up top, which not only lets in natural light, but also gives you additional headroom. Now right outside the bathroom, this is pretty neat too. They have some storage right here. If you take a look, you have good storage up top, great storage here down below. Uh, now, if it were myself, I would personally put a hanging rod in here. You know, I would use this for uh, hanging storage for the kids in the back. Because again, you probably have quite a few people with you. And uh, I definitely would put a rod in there. And then underneath, you'll see they have a little cutout. This is great too. You know, if you want to throw some of the kids' flip-flops in there, you know, because they generally don't track in too much dirt. Or if you want to put like uh, beach towels or something in there, whatever you want, uh, that's just a good spot to go ahead and do it there. Um, this is your privacy or your door leading into the bunk room, but I like it because it provides a lot of privacy. It's a nice slide door. All you have to do is just unbutton it just like so, and you'll see that one slides over nice and easy. Kind of a farm style door there. I think that's a, you know, a cool addition, nice space savings as well. Now we're back in the bunk room. You'll see it has a slide quad bunk back here. It's great when you can have a quad bunk, um, you know, and have the outside kitchen. And this bottom one is a tri-fold sofa, I meaning you can sleep two people here. So you can easily sleep five people here, which is phenomenal. So uh, as I mentioned, tri-fold. If you're not familiar with the tri-fold sofa, it is the preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. Uh, rather than your standard pullouts where you have like a bar on your back and your mattress is about this thin because it has to fold up a whole bunch. This instead utilizes the actual cushions of the sofa itself. You can see how nice and thick that is. Um, and it doesn't take up as much room as your standard pullout. So that's why you're able to fit it in here. And it's not like an air mattress where it'll deflate on you in the middle of the night. But that is a great night's sleep. Uh, you know, again, if you want to sleep two people there, you can do that. Up top here, this will be the smallest bunk we have here. Uh, you know, this is your standard single bunk you find in most RVs, 250 pound weight limit on here. You'll see right there, you have an electrical outlet and a dual USB port. You also have one right next to the couch. So if you, uh, you don't need to plug in electronics or maybe one of the kids have to sleep with a CPAP machine or oxygen or anything like that, there is a place in which you can plug that in. Also, this does fold up. You can lock it up and out of the way. That way as you're sitting on the couch, you're not hitting your heads. Window on both top and bottom there too. If you take a look along the back wall, you'll see you have some nice extra storage. You have uh, nets in there. So if you want to throw the kids socks or maybe roll up their underwear or something, stick them in there, you can do that. Or, you know, if you want to bring books, plan to do some reading, you can throw books in there. Really, whatever you want to put in there, but uh, it is some nice extra storage. 
right up top here, your TV connections. Uh, you know, with this setup, basically everyone back here can watch TV. That is where you would put it. Right across the way, nice wide bunk here. You can see how big this bunk is. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice soft uh, bedding here as well. 250 pound weight limit still, so do make sure uh, you're weary of that. You know, even though it's a huge bunk, you don't want to put, um, you know, two uh, older adults or anything like that on here. It, uh, you know, might strain the bed a little. But underneath, same thing again, nice big wide bunk there. And on this side, both the top and bottom do have your uh, LED lights as well as the dual USB port. Right underneath here, you will see nice big full extension pull out drawers. So again, more storage for clothes, which is great. And lastly, if you take a look up at the ceiling, uh, you have a vent here for airflow, but more importantly, this is already uh, prepped for a second AC. This one uses a 50 amp power plug in this camper. So if you want that second AC, it's a lot less expensive to have that installed. Back out in the main living area, you have the nice big super slide. You also see you have a very large U-shaped dinette. With how many people you have in here, I'm sure this will get utilized a lot. You'll also notice it is a big table here too. A lot of manufacturers use a much smaller table and you can't you know, fit more than two plates on it. Certainly not the case here. Also, this does drop down into a large bed. It's easy to make. You just have to remove the table legs here. You move it from the flanges both in the floor as well as in the table. And then the table itself will drop down along these rails. Take the back cushions, put it on top, and that will give you sleeping space that is large enough for two adults. You'll also notice right up in the corner here, again, you have a standard electrical outlet and dual USB port. So, you know, they know that more and more people are bringing electronics camping with them and they are being very accommodating in this camper. Two large windows here, letting in some natural light. Of course, LED light right here up top. Nice little uh, light there above the table as well. Right over here is your theater seating. Again, something that's becoming more popular in a lot of RVs. This is a, you know, definitely a comfortable place to sit. You can recline, uh, you know, kick your feet up, relax, lean back, take a nap. You have some cup holders here for a beverage. Also, you have this nice little storage compartment for remotes as well. And again, electrical outlet and USB ports there. Entertainment center is right here in the center. There is the TV. Your multimedia center is already pre-wired to that. So if you wanna watch a DVD, you can pop it in right there. This multimedia center also controls the speakers inside here as well as the ones outside. And as I had mentioned previously, it is Bluetooth capable. Right up top, you have some good additional storage and then more storage right here underneath. The bedroom of the Mini Plus features a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. So if you're a taller person, you don't like your feet hanging off, then you won't have to worry about it in here. Also on both sides, you'll see you have mirrored wardrobe space, a good hanging rod uh, space there for all of your clothes. And then up top, you have huge storage up top here too. So you have a lot of room for folded clothes, you know, extra bedding, anything else you need to stick up there. Also underneath, you see you have some adjustable reading lights there, which is nice. Windows on both sides, one of them which is an emergency exit. Right down beneath, you see you have a little nightstand there. Also electrical outlet, USB port here as well. Uh, so that way you can charge cell phones on both sides. Then this is neat too. You know, a lot of manufacturers put curtains in for privacy. You had a door in the back, you have a door right here too. So it gives you, you know, that quality feel. It gives you that privacy. And right here you have a spot for a TV. So when both doors are shut, you're able to watch TV here at night too. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini Plus 31 BHDS. This one has the graphite interior and the platinum exterior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.